In this tutorial series on photogrammetry for Substance 3D Sampler, we're taking an in-depth look at some more advanced methods to take our photographs. We'll introduce concepts step-by-step, -step, showing techniques to tackle difficult subjects. We'll focus on shooting smaller objects indoors and in controlled environments with access to some more advanced equipment. We don't want to focus on specific brands and products and try to keep the explanations generic enough so it can be applied to different equipment. Substance 3D sampler specific steps are covered in a dedicated video. Most of the difficulty in photogrammetry is in taking the right photos, and that's what the majority of the videos will cover. So first, let's talk about the camera. A DSLR camera is essential to elevate the quality and to have more control over your photos. Some smartphones, like an iPhone Pro, might get close, but it's difficult to extend and connect those with other photography equipment. Any DSLR that supports manual mode, exchangeable lenses, can support an external flash, and has 12 megapixels or more resolution is a good choice. In these videos, a first generation Sony A7 is used, but any Nikon, Canon, or other DSLR is fine as well. Second, since we'll be shooting smaller subjects, we won't be walking around our object. Instead, we keep the camera at a set position and rotate the object. For this, you'll need a tripod and a product turntable. The big advantage to such a static setup is that you can flip a smaller object upside down and capture the underside as well. A tripod doesn't have to be complicated, but they can range in price a lot. A cheap plastic tripod isn't very pleasant to work with and can get very annoying to fixate and adjust multiple times per shoot. A big heavy studio tripod is overkill for our situation. So a mid-range metal tripod, easily adjustable in height with a good metal head is what you're after. Choosing a turntable can be a bit trickier. A simple manual one will do for many cases, but an automated turntable that can trigger your camera automatically can make things simpler and faster. Manual turntables are very cheap, so choose these if you're on a budget. Motorized ones mean you can do precise turns in a repeatable way, and if the turntable can trigger your camera, it can be many times faster to use than a manual one. In this video, we use a Manfrotto Serp Genie Mini 2 with product turntable add-on and the correct trigger cable for Sony cameras. It connects to a smartphone and lets you program a precise rotation in number of steps and set the pause time in between those steps. Once started, it completes a full rotation, triggering the camera at each step. It's battery powered, so you can even take it outside. A DSLR, a tripod, and a turntable setup are already enough to capture simple objects in ideal conditions. That means, shooting with a uniform natural light, say from a ceiling window or multiple surrounding windows. Your object should also be fairly matte, not reflecting much. The one major thing to pay attention to is a uniform background. The photogrammetry system is easily confused by a static background with a rotating object, so you have to make sure to eliminate that factor. If you have a busy background, use a simple paper or cardboard sheet or a uniform colored cloth to hide things. Once you're all set up, the idea is simple. Take plenty of photos, going in full 360 degree loops. 16 shots per rotation is a good number, in at least five different loops. One from the side, and two from differing heights, for the bottom and top of the object each. With this setup, you could already shoot something like a stick or rock on a cloudy day outside or in a well-lit room. Using your camera's automatic mode could work for these cases, but let's look into advanced settings in the next video.